this is discs in uh, Zorin, we're on OS 9 and I've got OS, Zorin OS 11 on another computer and actually I've tried it on a couple and I can't get unit booting to work on it so I've been playing around looking for options and so forth and I've found that this thing here uh, which I actually use to you know, format discs and all that sort of stuff <coughs> it also creates USB sticks and I'm just going to run through so there's me um, 16 gigabyte drive the, um, USB 3 stick you just go to the more actions yours I've noticed later versions of this do look slightly different or the, the one on Zora 11 looks different but this is the button you're looking for here, more actions and restore disk image and we'll just select the image, we're going to use Manjaro XFCE 15.12 for this one and start restoring, it's just asking to confirm the device because uh, you really don't want to point it at the wrong disk and we'll just authenticate there and there it is, so you can see I, I tried it on Zoran OS 11 Ultimate 64-bit but I couldn't get it to work with um, doing it this way, I can do it with UNET booting but not with this and it's ironic that UNET booting doesn't appear to work for me on Zoran OS 11 which is why we're hunting for other ways and this is at least one of the other ways that I've found um, that's it's pretty easy, I, I think this is as easy or easier than just about any other method that uh, that I've encountered thus far so um, pretty good little utility this there's a few things that I've found I've got to use gparted for but uh, this seems to do a lot of other work for me including I use this to um, back up complete hard disks so I have my operating system on on uh, SSD drives that are usually only well I've got a 64 gig and a 128 gig there so there's a, a 2 terabyte hard disk in the system you can see there so there's plenty of space on there if you don't fill it up with a th other stuff to um, just create full images of your system as it currently sits and uh, I do that pretty much the same oh well you go there and you go create disk image but I think I've done another video on that so we'll just I'll just pause that there for a minute okay just about done there we go you can see the the layouts changed there and it's now saying in the blue section here Manjaro 15.12 etc etc so I'll pause again I'll just I'm pretty confident that one will work because I've tested it a few times it's just that um, can't make Zorin OS 11 on it um, for whatever reason. I can't use Zorin OS 11 with UNET booting and I can't make it on the answer, which is this disk utility, the answer that I found for me. So it doesn't want to be made and it won't make. But anyway, that's another story. So I'll just pause while I double check the stick works in another computer. Well, I've just tested the stick that I made a few moments ago and it happily booted up to the Manjaro desktop. All good. So there's another another way of making um, USB sticks, bootable USB sticks. There's also this one here, Unit Booting, which uh, is what I can't use in Zorin 11 for whatever reason. And there's the, um, the DD command in the terminal if you know that one and there's a few others I've, I've heard of as well um, they're the main ones that I use and disks is my new best friend yet again what a great utility it is uh, gnome disk utility in Manjaro and whatever it might be called in your particular distribution so give it a crack see how it goes for you and I uh, hope you found that informative